The love of brothers is a story that is well worn. The innate sense of rivalry, to compete, but also to celebrate. To support yet yearn for what is theirs. The relationship exists in the tether, never one without the other. Tied to the success and also the failure. In times of adversity, it's a bond that can be stronger than anything else. Or it can eat the brothers alive. But in that competition is a unique bond. Iron sharpens iron, and in this case, forged two dangerous weapons. Tonight, it starts tonight and it's starting this room. We don't fold. We don't fold. We don't fold. Yes, sir. Let's go. Right, right, Monday night football. The clouds gonna feed off us. You feel me? Prime time. Back under the lights of Lumen Field, it's do or die for the Seahawks. They welcome the Eagles, a team looking to clinch their playoff journey with a win on Monday night football. High end over end and short Boston Scott runs up out across the 15 20 and is hammered down. The handoff on first and 10. No, it's going to be a keeper for Hertz. He's out across the 30. As Swift gets the handoff in the backfield, tries to go left side, slips, and then is hammered down. Empty backfield for Hertz. Takes a shotgun snap on third down and six. Looks to the middle, throws. Ball is caught and fights his way inside the 30. Seattle with four linemen, they rush four, Hertz is going to run. Starts to the left side, turns up field, dives in, he's in for the score. The Eagles take advantage of the clock early, marching down the field and taking more than half the quarter to do it. They go up 7-0 before the Seahawks offense even has a snap. Five-man rush, Blitz is coming, who has lots of time. To the middle, low throw, caught by Lockett. Walker, stutter steps at the line, tries to break free. Goes from the shotgun with a slot to the near side. Drew looks, throws back inside, ball is caught. DK Metcalf, but he's going to be about a yard short. Drew's first drive on the home field ends before a chance at the end zone. Quick throw, ball's batted up in the air and drops to the ground. This time he keeps it and he's got some running room on the near side. Heads for the sticks, pushed out of bounds. Straight ahead, he gets hit and hanging on for dear life is Diggs. The defense holding the Eagles to an answering three. The offense takes the field again. Walker fights his way forward. Going to be just shy of the first down. Through on the center. going to hand it to Walker. Straight ahead. He's across the 30. Down to the 25-yard line. Lock out of the shotgun. Four-man rush. Has time. Goes right down the middle. Ball is caught for a first down at the 15-yard line. JSN. Seahawks are on the board. 10-3. Here comes the blitz, Hurts has time. Now he's got to scramble. Finally, the Seahawks get pressure. Ball's tipped up in the air and drops on the ground. Going in for the half, the game is within reach. Part of the reason when I you know, got asked questions last year is so why I come back and whatnot, I said this is a special place full of a lot of special people that all they want you to do is be yourself. To have that and Coach Carroll, you know, telling me that multiple times, telling everybody on the team that multiple times, don't do anything more than just be yourself. Um, and for how many times he said it to us, you truthfully believe him in it. And I think that's the cool part, because there's a lot of fluff. A lot of fluff can go on, but he has wholeheartedly, since the day I've got here, said, you know, don't do anything extra. If you go out and just be you today, I believe in you, this team believes in you, and you're gonna be able to go get the job done. And sure enough, like, Every answer I gave about why I came back had to, it, it unfolded that night on that last drive. And um, 
gosh, it's just really cool. I haven't really even thought of it like that or spoken it like that. And that's, yeah, that's cool. Walker in the backfield catches a quick pass, turns up field, tries to break one tackle. Drew looks to the far side, throws. Ken Walker makes the catch, steps out of one tackle, breaks another tackle, turns up field down the far sidelines, across midfield, knocked out of bounds. Third and less than a yard, back to the line of scrimmage. Two tight ends in the backfield. The handoff goes to Walker. He looks for running room, bounces it off the right side. Inside the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Seahawks! A productive two and a half quarters for running back Kenneth Walker finally results in the momentum shifting play the Seahawks needed. A touchdown. Second down and four. Hurts from the shotgun. Comes off a little screen pass and nothing doing. Big Cat is right there. Play fake. Seven step drop. Hurts looks. Steps up in the pocket. Has some running room. Takes off right side. Flying down the far side. Bobby Wagner runs him out of bounds. Hurts and just pushes everything into the end zone. The brotherly shove strikes again. Walker in the backfield. He's going to find a little running room left side. Bounces off a man. Quick throw over the middle. Ball is caught by Tyler Lockett. He's slammed down at the 30. Play fake on a toss. Now a quick wide receiver screen. DK down across the 20. Puts his head and shoulder pass down. Good snap. Dixon gets it down. Myers gets it away. Seattle blitzes. Hurts stands strong. Throws. Ball is caught. Play fake to gain. Well, Hertz is going to throw again. Has all day. Going to throw deep. Got a man deep. Love intercepts. Julian Love comes up big against the Philly offense looking to extend their lead. Backs against the wall, the Seahawks offense have to travel the length of the field in quick order. There's just that, that thing that happens in the quarterback position where your instincts kick in. Um, you know what you're seeing, you've been seeing the defense the whole game and you just kind of react and rely on the training that we've done since I was in fifth grade playing football to come out and show itself, you know, during that drive. It's kind of what you got to get to and it was awesome looking back at it knowing I was in that headspace and uh, man, it was a blast. Guys made a ton of plays. Four man rush, look out through, gets rid of the ball, throw diving, catch made by DK out of the 35 yard line. First and 10, through. Looking, near side, throws the ball, Pant makes the catch, steps out of bounds. Second down and five, a throw back inside. The ball is caught by DK, a throw downfield. Metcalf out there, Metcalf makes the catch between two defenders. A series of clutch catches from Fant and Metcalf get the Seahawks in position to make a play. With Jackson, Smith, and Jigba matched up one-on-one, -on -one, Locke takes his shot. With ice in his veins, the rookie catches the back corner of the ball, dragging two feet like somebody I used to know. Yeah, when the ball left my hand, I felt like I put a little juice on it. I'm like, Jack, better turn on the afterburners to be able to go get this thing. And sure enough, the fingertip catch. When you're playing your whole life as a starter, whether it was elementary school, middle school, high school, college, um, you have those guys in your corner that you know, are your backups that will do anything for you and hope for your success. And that's what I ended up having, you know, to do for Gino. And I had to flip that switch in my brain as a starter to a, to a backup. You know, you got to put your pride, your ego to the side, um, do what's best for the team. Like I said, I was, you know, up, upset a little bit. Um, that's normal. You know, I'm supposed to be. That's the competitive part of me coming out. But then immediately clicking back into, well, I need to support my teammates. I need to be there to support Drew. I got to make sure that I'm giving him all the positive energy that he can get uh, so that he can go out there and feel comfortable and know that it is his moment, it is his time. You know, for me to get my chance and then look over and see how excited he was for me, it was, it speaks a lot about, you know, I think our relationship and, you know, the, the type of man he is. And um, it was just, it's really cool, really special. We'll never forget it, like I said. 13 seconds left, first and 10 from his own 45. Hurts from the shotgun, Gainwell in the backfield. Slot left, Hurts drops back, has time, loads up, throws, A.J. Brown the defense, it's intercepted! Does he keep his feet in? He does! Seahawks ball! 
And with his second interception of the day, Julian Love calls game. The Seahawks upset the Eagles and hope it's alive again in Seattle. After review, the ruling on the field does stand as called. Yes! Seahawks win this football game. One kneel down is all it's going to take. A fourth quarter inside a two-minute drive led by the backup quarterback. What did it feel like to orchestrate this game-winning drive tonight? Oh, amazing won't do it justice. Amazing won't do it justice, but amazing also doesn't do justice with the whole line. What DK did on that catch, what the receivers did, what Ken Walker, Zach Charbonnet did all game long, the tight ends, man. It takes a special group to rally around a guy that, you know, has come into his second game of the year, right? Used to the same thing all year long, same cadence, same spin of the ball, everything. For a team like that, not just the offense, the defense to rally around. Me tonight, man, that was, that was amazing. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Um, I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed. I'm blessed with a great group of guys, a great city, great coaching staff. It's just, it's, it's awesome. It's a wow. Can you win the game in the first quarter? No! Can you win the game in the second quarter? No! Can you win the game in the third quarter? No! Can you win the motherfucker in the fourth quarter? Yeah. Hung all night long. We did it, fellas. We stayed with it. We stayed. As the game got on, we did better. We did. We got cleaner. We got sharper. Uh, to be able to do that at the end of the game, 92 yards to get it, and then also to take the football right back off him. That's big time, big time freaking NFL football. It's a great job. What that means going forward, it don't matter right now. Let's just enjoy the fuck out of this win right now and, and have a blast. With it. I'm so freaking jacked. I'm so freaking jacked. I'm going to God damn. Heavy fog settles over the Seahawks' practice before heading to Tennessee. The symbolism and the weight of the opportunity ahead, unmissable. Uh, the QB room here is just um, a lot of ball. You know, obviously that, that comes first. You know, we're talking football, you know, trying to find ways to beat the defense, you know, figuring out new ways to be better as quarterbacks. Um, a lot of competition. Um, a lot of us pushing ourselves as well as, as well as the next guy, you know, just trying to be the best we can be. But um, amongst all that is uh, just great friendship, um, great relationships, a bunch of guys who really care about each other. Um, got to know these guys, got to know Drew. Um, we've had Sean Mannion for two years now. Uh, I've been working with Shane now for about three years, feels like, and, um, you know, Kerry Joseph. Um, getting Greg Olson into the room, a veteran coach who, I mean, he brings so much excitement, you know, every single day to work. And then obviously just all the guys that we've had in there, whether it was Brett Rippin, whether it was Holton Ehlers, just all those guys have done such a tremendous job at just fitting right in. And um, it's a welcoming, very welcoming place, a welcoming room. And uh, we love to have fun and we love to talk ball. All week, Geno Smith is considered a go for Sunday. And even after the magic of the few days before, Drew settles back into his role at backup. The vibes in the QB room, fun, without a doubt. Um, I think it's cool just over the years how we've gotten to know each other. Even like this year with it being interesting with Sean coming back mid-season, we were all together last year. It just, it kind of felt right when all of us got back together. Me and Jeebo said it, Sean's like, our uh, you know, lucky rabbit's foot when he comes back. We all start playing well and whatnot, but uh, it's been really fun with those guys. I think it's, it's interesting, you know, coming from G's, you know, walk of life in football, mine in football, Sean's in football. Three totally separate stories, but have a lot of things in common for all of us to be able to get into a room together. I feel like it's cool that we all kind of understand each other's past and um, can relate really, really well. And that's what you want in a key room. Obviously, you want to have a lot of fun. And, we do do that. We, got, we snap back into football quickly after having a little fun, but um, all of us being able to understand each other's paths and how we got here is what makes it really special, I think. Following the Monday night success, the week leading into the Christmas Eve matchup versus the Titans is like any other at the practice facility and beyond. Check, 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 check. All safe weight customers, all safe weight customers. Check, check. This is Derek Hall from the Seahawks. 
and me and my colleagues would just like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's what the fun was. You gotta see how we just coming out here and wish, wish y'all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, stop playing, bust it. <laughs> the Seahawks spent the holiday week connecting with the community, spreading cheer through grocery gifts, toy drives, and hospital visits. A little bit about my foundation uh, started not too long ago. We were chilling the Wall Street Foundation. You know, it's been quick, but some of the work we've done was, you know, throughout the class here, uh, partnering with Shelly, uh, to be able to uh, buy toys for kids for the holidays. Hey, how are you? How you doing, man? Nice to meet you. Can I help you pick out a nice gift? Let's see. Merry Christmas. You like this? Yeah. Take a ride in Santa's sleigh. The defense quickly gives the offense a chance at the field, forcing the Titans to an immediate three and out. Back at QB1, a healthy Geno takes the field in Tennessee. Empty backfield on second down, quick throw far side. DK makes the catch, he's got a first down. DJ Dallas is gonna line up under center and the Seahawks are gonna get it. Maybe in homage to last week's brotherly shove, the Seahawks push their own play across for a first down. Gino again, a throw far side ball is caught by Parkinson. Now there's offsides on the defense, so a free play and Gino's gonna just let it fly. And he's got Tyler Lockett out there, who almost makes the catch. A deep ball narrowly misses Tyler's grasp and the offense leaves the field scoreless. Tannehill out of the shotgun, he's going to hand, no, now the ball on a flea flicker, comes back to Tannehill, who looks, throws, and the ball intended for Chris Moore, and he just got level. Ryan Tannehill in the shotgun with two receivers far side, Tannehill wants to throw, he does, it's Hopkins who makes the catch, first and ten, Tannehill now, pistol formation, with Henry behind him, awaiting the shotgun snap, he takes it. A pass by Henry to the end zone, touchdown Tennessee. It's Henry, not Tannehill, who delivers the touchdown pass to put Tennessee on top. Hand off to Walker, he goes right, bounces it outside, gets a good block, turns up field, down the far sidelines, and finally dragged out of bounds. Play fake, the throw comes near side to DK, he makes the catch, avoids a man, jumps over another, inside the 20, down to the 16 yard line. Myers with the kick, and he drills it through. 10.48 to play here in this second quarter. Takes the shotgun snap, Seattle rushes four. Tannehill gets hit and goes down. Tannehill takes the snap, going to throw, looking left. Bumps it off out at the far side, flat. Artie Burns is right there to make the tackle. Second down and eight from his own 29. Tannehill takes the shotgun snap, steps up in the pocket, dumps the ball over the middle. The tight end is tackled. 
Tannehill back to the line. Three receivers left. Has time. Stands. Gets hit. Goes down. Off the far edge. Boye Mafe. A familiar score line heading into the half. Hawks are down 3-10. to 10. It's really just special to have two quarterbacks like that who are capable. You know, to have a team that's going to fight to the end. And no matter who the quarterback is, they're going to believe and they're going to go out there and everyone's going to execute their job and make it easier, easier for the quarterback. And so I think that's a testament to our coaching staff for preparing the guys. Big testament to the players around us for doing their jobs and obviously for the quarterback for making the play when the, when the play counts. Charbonnet in the backfield. Gino from the shotgun on third and six. Here comes the blitz. Gino gets rid of it. JSN makes the catch on a slant route left side. Walker gets the handoff, goes right side, has to avoid two men. Breaks a tackle, breaks out and almost breaks free. He must have broken three tackles. Gino's going to throw here, throw down. Field ball is caught by Lockett. Gino takes the snap, looks, throws to the back of the end zone, reaching up one hand. Does he keep it in? He does! Touchdown, Seahawks! DK hauls in a contested ball, and after the Seahawks challenge, the touchdown counts. As we review the ruling on the field, it's a touchdown. Play fake to Henry. Tannehill's going to throw. Tannehill gets wiped out! I mean, he gets just plastered, and it's Bobby Wagner on the blitz. Play fake, Tannehill's going to roll out near side, not going to throw to Henry. Here to the near side, he breaks one tackle, breaks a, almost breaks a second. Wide out to each side, Henry gets it going right side. This time he gets hit and stopped well short. Tannehill turns back, hands the ball to Spears, who gets hit in the backfield and dropped. Nice play, Derek Hall, the rookie. Single setback, Tannehill on the center. Gets it, and Henry stays. In a familiar position with less than two minutes to go, the Seahawks offense has a chance to win the game. He throws far side, ball is caught by Lockett, he's got a first down. Blitz coming, Geno stops, throws to the middle, ball is caught, JSM, first down across midfield. Slots to both sides, JSM slotted on the right, blitz again. Chardonnay picks it up, Geno's got running room, but he throws far side, Lockett makes the catch. Tennessee. Brings the house. They're blitzing everybody. Gino's going to throw. Man on man and just inside. And there's a flag down by the one yard line. DK was on his way to making a touchdown catch. And that's going to be first and goal inside the 10. Parkinson on the left. Gino looks that way, throws back shoulder. Parkinson has the catch. Touchdown, Seahawks. Even with the touchdown, there's plenty of time for Tennessee to get within the field goal range. Hit, goes down! And he'll looks. He gets hit! He goes down! Draymond Jones! Now they're not gonna spike it. They're gonna throw near side. Ball is caught and knocked out of bounds, but the clock doesn't stop. The receiver caught it. Clock is ticking down. 2 1. Seahawks are gonna win this game. With that win, the Seahawks become the second team in NFL history to have two different quarterbacks throw game winning touchdowns in the final minute of regulation in back-to-back -back games. You know, as I'm going out there, you know, I'm not thinking about anything else besides the situation. Um, knowing we got four downs, I thought Shane did a great job. I thought protection held up great. Uh, obviously, receivers did a great job of getting open, and then Kobe made a heck of a catch, you know, to seal the deal right there. You know, I know that we understand what's at stake, but we also know that, you know, we have to go and handle our business. Our business. So um, just one practice at a time, one game at a time, one rep at a time. That's all we can do is control that and, uh, you know, just continue to fight to the end. The quarterback to backup quarterback relationship is a unique one. Like all positions, they're fighting for a spot, but it holds a different pressure to it off the field. We're a very confident group. Um, this team is built with a lot of great players that have done a lot of great things in their career, and you can always rely on that. You can always lean back on you know, who you are and yourself, like we just talked about, just believing in yourself. This team is really special in the fact that we also believe in everybody around us too. And when you mix all those things together, I think it allows for a team to be very resilient like we have been. Um, 
I think it's like, you know, if you grew up in a family full of brothers, like I did, that's, that's normal in the household. You know, we all love one another, but we all compete to be the favorite son, to be the best son. And uh, that's kind of how it works. And, you know, in my family, I tell them all the time, you know, I, they got to be better than me. And I look at Drew the same way. I want Drew to be better than me. And so it's that big brother, little brother thing. But, you know, we're equals in this thing and, and we go about our business that way. The balance of competing and supporting each other is a hard balance to strike. In football, the quarterback room is like family. Um, I loved playing basketball. I was a big hoops player, and I never made it to state. Uh, we made the district championship a couple times, but always wanted to make it to state. And my sister, of course, her junior year ends up making it to the state championship game. They're playing in Columbia at Mizzou, where I went. And I ended up going to the game that day because I was in college at the time. And it was one of those exact moments. like. Man, I'm envious because I didn't get to do this, but like, we're family. I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited for you. You know, I'm the type of guy where I want it to be an open room. I want everyone to be able to feel like their suggestions are heard and that their opinion matters because it does. And so it's the big brother, little brother dynamic. And as a brother, I want to be the best, and I'm sure he does as well. I think it, that's probably the closest thing that I've ever like felt internally as far as that because I'm so happy she made it there. I'm so happy G's doing what she's doing, but or what he's doing. But you know, it'd be cool to be doing it too. He gave the exact same answer. He said, "Do you really? Yeah. No way. He said it's like siblings. Yeah. The only other relationship like it is like brother relationship. Well, there you go. Exactly. That's pretty. That is crazy. I mean, that's the cool thing about team sports, I guess. You know, if I didn't want that, we'd go play tennis and golf. But you know. Being able to be with your brothers and be with the guys is the, the special thing about it. The fourth quarter of the season is halfway over. Every snap counts. This team and its quarterbacks have proven time and time again their comfort is in the clutch. May the championship opportunities continue.